Well, the IAAF World Relay is set to kick off this weekend with over 1,000 athletes and officials from 42 countries converging here in the capital. All right, they're getting ready to burn up the track. And as our Jared Higgs tells us, there will also be some economic benefits. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Dr. Danny Johnson, says the World Relays are financially demanding but will have significant rewards for the Bahamas. Seems like I'm coming in at around these $10 million budgets. Uh, with economic impact that might be at least 20, 25 million when you look at the whole package. While he was unable to provide specific budgetary details, the minister was able to provide some insight as to how the money was being spent. Three to five million for the event itself, and then infrastructure which we get to keep um, to use for all sorts of other things is the other five million side. So you're looking at the tendency looks like when you're having these things of this scale, you're putting stuff in the ground, about half of your budget goes to that, and the other half seems to go to the actual operations, all the logistics, all the hosting, prize money. Minister Johnson says he plans to reveal specific details following the games. He did, however, send an important message to Bahamians seeking to take advantage of the economic stimulus. Bahamians, entrepreneurial Bahamians, have to figure out now how will they capitalize on the operation side, and that's where the economic impact comes in, because we put in five, but you all can make 10, 20, 25. Managing director of the local organizing committee, Mr. Lionel Haven, was confident that the work would be completed and noted some potential economic gains for Bahamians. Time. We've got um, very large numbers of, and I'll add this here, Bahamians employed who are there doing this work. And, and so the minister spoke of the economic impact of this event, but we've got uh, Bahamian service providers who are there and, and carrying out these functions. Now officials say that as of Thursday there are about 1,000 tickets left and that number is sure to be lower now. One of our golden girls, Pauline Davis-Thompson, says she doesn't want people discouraged by the cheaper seats. She also says she wants Bahamian children from all walks of life to come out and enjoy what the Bahamas is doing. Jared Higgs, ZNS Network News.